Hello, boys and girls. Today for math, we're going to be talking about something called fact families. Now, fact families are made up of related addition and subtraction facts. Now, before we figure out fact families and talk about those, let's remind ourselves what are related addition and subtraction facts, okay? So ignore these for now. We're going to come back and look at those. But how about four plus one? equals five and then five minus one equals four. Are those related facts? Yes, they are. How do we know that they're related? Well, remember it's because they have the same numbers. They're in different order, but they have the same numbers. Just like oftentimes, Families will have the same last name if you're all part of a family. Like my last name is Rabido. My parents' last name is Rabido. My brother's last name are, is Rabido. Um, so just like families often have that, fact families have all the same numbers. Okay? So yeah, these two are related addition and subtraction facts. All right, let's take a look at another one too. How about, what if we did... 4 plus 2 equals 6, and then 6 minus 3 equals 3. Are those related addition and subtraction facts? No, they're not. Okay, so you see they both have 6. That's the same, but that's the only digit that is the same. This one has 4 and 2. This one has 3 and 3. Okay, so... Remember, if they're related, they have to have all three numbers have to be the same. So these two aren't related. One's just an addition fact, a subtraction fact, but they're not related at all. Okay? So now let's talk a little bit about fact families. Now that we've reviewed related addition and subtraction facts, um, let's talk about fact families. So let's take a look at these dominoes. So Take a look at domino number one first, okay? Here, I'll label them, good. So for domino number one, how many are on the left side here? How many dots? Five. And how many dots are on the right side? One, okay, five and one. And how many dots are there in all? Six, very good. So the way we can write that, what's our addition sentence that we can say for that? We can say five, plus one equals six. Good. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Now, if I took this domino and I flipped it like this, the domino would look like this now. So now on the left side, we have how many dots? One. And on the right side, we have how many dots? Five. And then all together, we have six. Good. So what would be the addition fact for this domino if we turned it? What would be the addition fact? Well, we'd start out with the left. So that would be one plus how many dots on the right side? Five. One plus five equals, again, how many in all? Six. So one plus five equals six. Good. So are these related addition facts? Yes, because they have all the same numbers. Now, we're going to look at these addition facts, and we're going to come up with what are the subtraction facts, that uh, the related subtraction facts, of course. They have to have all the same numbers that we can get from these addition facts right here. Well, it's like checking with adding. So, well, but we'll do, be doing it backwards. It's almost like checking with subtracting. So if we have five plus one equals six, what would be the related subtraction facts that we can do? Well, we would actually start off with six. You start off with the largest number. Then we would put Linus the minus. So six, take away one. We're gonna leave one in the middle. Six, take away one equals how many? Five, very good, okay? And then if we were gonna do a subtraction fact for this one, 
What number would we start with? The largest number or the most. So that would be six. Minus the minus again. Take away. We're going to keep five in the middle. So six minus five equals how many? If you have six, you take away five, you end up with one. Very good. Six minus five equals one. So this is called a fact family. It's four facts, four addition and subtraction facts, and they all have the same numbers. Let's double check and make sure they all have the same numbers. Okay, so starting with five, let's make sure all of them have a five. This one has a five. Oh, this one has a five. This one has a five and this one has a five. Okay, good. All right, how about ones? Let's see, this one has a one. This one has a one. Oh, here's a one. There's a one, good. And then six. Let's see, this one has a six. This one has a six. This one and this one. Very good. So they all have the same numbers, which makes them a fact family. They're all related to each other. Okay, now one way that I like to do this, we're gonna say goodbye to our fact family and our dominoes real quick. When I think of a family, I think of people all living in the same place. And oftentimes families will live in like an apartment together or they might live in a house. So when I'm practicing fact families, sometimes I like to make a house, okay? If you have some paper, you can also make a house like this with me. Um, but what we're gonna do for this house, we're gonna start on the top. We're gonna have a nice triangle. That's the roof of the house. Then we're gonna have a nice big square right here, okay? So there's gonna be four equations or four uh, number sentences in this house. So there's going to be one. Let's see. I'll arrange it. They do on the paper. So there's going to be an addition equation. There's going to be another addition equation. Then there's going to be a subtraction equation. And then there's going to be another subtraction equation. Okay. So there's going to be two addition and two subtraction. Okay. Okay, we can do this. So we're going to find out the numbers that go in this family. Okay, so how about we do 5, 6, and 11. I like to put the numbers in the roof. So if I forget like which numbers I'm using, I can just look up quick and remember, oh, I need 11, 5, and 6. Okay, now remember, when you're filling in the blanks, the number sentence has to make sense. Okay, so if I said, okay, I'm going to start with 11 plus 6 equals 5. Does that make sense? 11 plus 6 equals 5? Is that correct? No, that's actually not correct. Okay, so the numbers can't be in that order. The numbers can't be in that order for that equation, for this addition one up here. Okay. So they can't be in that order. Because remember, it has to be those three numbers only. No other numbers. I can't say, oh, 11 plus 6 equals 17. Well, 17 isn't in the roof. So 17, that's, that's not part of this family. So you have to be very careful when you're choosing your uh, the number, like where each digit goes, where each number goes. You have to be very careful to remember that they have to have the same numbers and you have to check to make sure, oh, this equation actually makes sense, okay? So let's go back to that first one, okay? Let's see, I'm gonna put five plus six equals 11, okay? So I have all three numbers. I have five, six, and 11. And does this equation make sense? Five plus six equals 11. Is that true? Yes, that is true. So back and stay. That's part of the fact family. Okay. Now remember with addition, you can switch the add ends and the sum will stay the same. So that's what I'm going to do for this next one. I'm going to put six first. Then I'm going to put five and six plus five equals 
11. Good. Okay, so did I keep all three digits? Yes. Yes, I have all three digits. And they're all the correct numbers and they're where they're supposed to be. Okay, now we get to subtraction, which gets a little bit trickier. So remember with subtraction, you wanna start with the number that equals the most. All right, which of these numbers equals the most? Five, six, or 11? 11, right? 11 is the highest number. So we'll start with 11. And then we're going to take away some. So 11 minus, let's go with 5. 11 minus 5, okay? 11 minus 5 equals 6. If you have 11, you take away 5, you end up with 6. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to try another one. How about, what if I did 6? minus 11 equals five. Does that make sense? Oh, you're right, it doesn't make sense. That's not correct. That's not correct. Remember, we have to start with the highest number or the number that equals the most with subtraction. So we have to do 11 minus six equals five. Remember when we were learning about related subtraction facts? And we would switch, we always kept the biggest number at the front, but then we would switch these two numbers. This is the fact family for five, six, and 11. Okay, so you see, they, each of the equations has all the same numbers. They've all got five, they've all got six, they've all got 11. And they're in the correct order, so each addition or subtraction sentence makes sense. Okay, now I want to try one more with you, and then you will be able to do this on your own on your paper. This can be a very tricky concept, so I want to make sure we go over it a couple times because it's easy to make mistakes with this. And I know that you boys and girls work very hard, and you have, God has given you nice, sharp brains, but I just want to make sure that we are prepared for this. So we're gonna do one more. My lines got a little messed up, but that's okay. We know what they're supposed to be. All right, so how about this time, let's do six, four, and 10. Six, four, and 10. Okay, starting off with addition, what do you think we should do first? Let's see, I'm thinking, let's start with six. We can do six plus four equals 10. Is that correct? Six plus four does equal 10, right? Yes, it does. So it makes sense. And it has all three. So that belongs in this house, in this fact family house. Okay. Oh, like I said before, got to remember, when you're adding, you can switch the add-ins. So it'll be a little bit different, but the sum will be the same. Okay, so let's do, then let's switch the add-ins. So we'll put four at the beginning. So that'll be four plus six equals, four plus six equals, 10, good. Okay, so both of these have six, four, and 10. Good, so, so far so good. Now we gotta move to subtraction. Remember what number you start with in subtraction. It's always the biggest number, the greatest number. And our greatest number out of these three is 10, 10. So we'll start off with 10. We'll do 10 minus, let's start with six. 10 minus six, equals four. If you have 10, you take away six, you're left with four. Very good. All right, good. And then again, we're doing subtraction. So let's begin with the highest numbers. That would be 10 minus four equals what? If you have 10, you take away four. What do you have left? Six. Very good. 10 minus four equals six. Excellent. So this is a fact family. These all belong in the same fact family house, okay? So now you are going to do um, a worksheet, and for this worksheet, you are going to be doing a lot of fact families, okay? So you're going to find this one. It's page 127 and page 128. They give you spaces. They don't give you the cool little house, but that's okay. You don't need to have that necessarily. Um, but it starts off, you get two addition, and then you have two subtraction. It gives you the first one to help you out. Remember that 
when you do an addition problem, you can switch the add-ins. And then when you're trying to figure out the subtraction problems, you begin with the highest number. Okay, so you're going to do these. Number five is optional. You don't have to do it. You can do it, but you don't have to. And then on the back, there's a bunch of these just to help you get that practice. Um, and then the challenge is also optional. You can do it if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay. All right. So boys and girls, that is your math lesson today. I know this can be a little bit tricky, but I know that you are all really hard workers and you can definitely do a great job on it. So do your best and you guys are going to do great.